I talk a lot. I talk a lot anyway. I talk a lot about emotion and photography. Or feeling and photography. And for me the two things are intrinsically linked there. They're not separate. But every once in a while you climb a mountain, go up a slope, reach a viewpoint, uh, are just driving along and looking at the valley in front of you or, or, or whatever's around you and you just have an oh wow moment and today on Raven Crag uh, on the shores of Thirlmere in the Lake District National Park that is precisely what I had. I got up to the viewpoint and I just said to myself oh wow let me show you what it was that I saw. So as you can hear, the uh, wind up on the top of Raven Crag was so strong that uh, any of the audio that I recorded up there was completely obliterated. Uh, what you also can't see is that um, I'm actually hanging onto my uh, tripod legs. Uh, in fact, the tripod is mounted very low to the ground. I'm actually sat uh, down on the ground, trying to keep as low as possible to stop all my gear from being blown away. What I was trying to describe here was something that my friend and mentor Steve Gosling used to bang on about during his photographic workshops. And that notion was to capture the elements in a scene that interest me. So from up here I could see the lake disappearing out into the distance, I could see the silvery colour of the lake the, with the light reflecting on the surface of the water. I could see low cloud sweeping across the fells and that low cloud was dark and grey and moody and gritty. I wanted to try and capture the notion of wind. Uh, as you can see quite clearly that was a, a notion that was being experienced uh, quite dramatically. And I did notice that the lake surface, you could see it was being swept along by the wind. The ripples were being blown and creating these little lines in the surface of the water. And wanted that to try and be as clear as possible in the final image. You can just about see uh, there on the left hand side that I've got a grey grad across the front of my lens. That's to try and control uh, the exposure uh, because despite the sky and the cloud being dark and moody in comparison to uh, the, the land it was actually quite bright but the grey grad also increases or hopefully increases the mood and the anger up in the sky. And you can see there, uh, whilst I'm talking, I'm trying to uh, grab some frames. And I'm doing that as the cloud moves across the fells. And I'm trying to increase the chances of it actually featuring clearly in my final image. Out of all of the frames that I created uh, at the top of Raven Crag, this is the one that really works for me. It includes all of those elements that I uh, talked about in the narration just now. And I also managed to find a view uh, where there was a lone tree sticking out uh, into the corner of the frame. That just helps to hold that corner, but also uh, I think it helps to uh, create a spot of interest uh, in that uh, silvery lake surface so that the silvery lake surface doesn't dominate too much and potentially because it draws the viewer's eye it helps to uh, uh, encourage the viewer to explore the surface of the water and hopefully capture that notion of water that I talked about. Um, also in post-processing I have darkened down the sky a little bit more to in accentuate the mood and increase the gloom and add to the atmosphere. Technical details for this uh, image, it was taken at 17 millimeters, 1 80th of a second, at f8 at ISO 200. Although I really liked the portrait image, uh, the notion of uh, clouds moving across the fells just wasn't quite strong enough. I think there was just maybe a bit too much space in the frame to allow that to be really clear. So I actually scoped the scene uh, handheld uh, using a slightly longer lens and this was the, the best result that I got. I like the 
uh, triangle of uh, trees uh, down in the, the bottom right hand corner just holds that corner and tells you a little bit about where you are and then it was just a case of uh, capturing the cloud as it swept past and this is the one that I liked the most because I had the notion of uh, movement because of the angle of the cloud and then you've just got a little wisp out to the top right hand side and again that just helps to increase that suggestion that the cloud is actually moving it's not static but yeah this was the one that I felt really uh, captured uh, the movement that I was uh, seeing with my own eyes uh, up from on top of Raven Crag. So to try and talk and photograph up on the top of Raven Crag was just absolutely and utterly impossible. It was just too blowy. And I've no idea whether you even heard what I was saying when I was up there. But suffice to say, I had a bit of a mooch around <coughs> um, to see what other compositions I could find that encapsulated that initial, oh my goodness, uh, reaction. I even tried a couple of uh, long exposures as well, just to see whether that would add to the mood and add to the drama. But I'm on my way back down now. As you can see, I've got my jumper on because I did get very cold uh, up there. And um, yeah, what a visit. Wow, I need to come back up here again when it's all dark and moody and gritty and rare. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, it's been a little bit of a whistle stop uh, photographic tour but I hope it's been worth it and I hope you've been able to take something away from the video uh, if you're not a subscriber please consider hitting the subscribe button uh, down below and uh, hit the bell button as well to get notified when new content is added so until the next video thank you very much indeed for watching once again uh, and until I see you again please take care enjoy your photography and stay safe cheers for now take it easy